I originally met Jimmy when I was a freshman at MUS. Jim was a year older than I was, probably 100 pounds lighter, and we became friends immediately. Jim, pound for pound, was maybe the best athlete I ever played with at MUS. He's just a terrific athlete. He played quarterback, football, guard, basketball, great tennis player. The only guy he couldn't beat was Freddie Caston. Jim was at least a 10 varsity letter winner at MUS in football, basketball, and tennis. He was captain or co-captain of all three teams. My freshman year, my close friend, Freddie Caston, was the starting quarterback on the football team. I think in the first or second game, he quickly threw two interceptions, and suddenly Jimmy Bell was the starting quarterback. He was the leader of our team at quarterback that uh, whipped Country Day two years in a row. Highlight of our lives, and we still talk about that today. Great leader, great student, and just a bloody good friend in those years. He was not just a leader in sports, he was a leader in student government, a leader in groups of friends, just a darn, darn good guy who everybody respected. Jim's class started this long 58-game basketball winning streak, an unprecedented number of straight victories that I'm sure will never be matched again. tennis team had a winning streak of 36 straight wins, and Jim was at the beginning and virtually at the end of that. Jim really embodied the student-athlete quality of the people at MUS. He won the Harvard, Princeton, Williams Book Awards. And he matriculated to Williams College where he did play varsity football. After he returned to Milwaukee in the mid 60s, he joined Robert W. Baird, worked with Fred Caston, who was class of 57 at MUS, and helped build that firm into a major regional brokerage firm. What Jim did at USM for over 50 years is really amazing. He served on the Board of Trustees. He ran the Endowment Committee for over 20 years. And in addition to that, he and Jane were active in fundraising events, Christmas shop, you name it, they were involved. All four of Jim's children graduated from USM, and he now has a third generation. He low-keys everything. He doesn't toot his own horn. And yet his accomplishments are there for all to see.